Greetings, fellow conquerors, and welcome back to Byzantium here in EU4, where we are not quite a great power, but a great power, TM. We're actually at about 303 development, but because of the autonomy that we have in our Bulgarian provinces, which is thankfully ticking down pretty quickly, um, we uh, haven't quite reached that uh, great power threshold yet. Uh, I am interested to see. Let's look at our army. Let's uh, combine it in one province. Um, and see where we get to. Now, uh, France wants military access through us, and uh, he's only at war with England and Venice, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. Now, part of me wonders, you know, does Venice actually have any... Uh, would, would his allies actually join him in a war right now? Um, it's a good question, but we're, first of all, we're going to fabricate a claim on uh, Skopje, I think would be... or Skopje, so, something like that. Um, I think. <laughs> Forgive me. Let's see. Uh, we will go ahead and pick up another cab. I think that'll be a good addition to uh, pick up that extra, you know, 29th force limit spot. Um, though we are probably likely going to split the army. Since there's no reason to really have, you know, that many troops stacked together. And we don't really need another uh, claim on Serbia, I don't think. Now, I don't think anyone, yeah... Hungary wouldn't join just because our diplomatic reputation is in the tank because of uh, our recent annexation of Bulgaria. Yeah, we're at negative two right now. <laughs> um, oh well, that's okay. I think we can defeat the Serbians anyway. I hate to def you know defeat them in this particular manner, but um, at the same time, you know I think it's going to be good for us. Now, one thing I didn't mention in the last episode is taking these Bulgarian provinces is going to improve our uh, religious unity by quite a bit. And one of the big advantages of taking uh, Jandar as a vassal is just going to be um, using them to, to take Turkish land until such time that we can actually convert or just accept the provinces, um, deciding which way we want to go. And we kind of have an interesting choice here. We could, we could pick up um, admin tech uh, 10 which would be pretty nice or we could go for um, admin tech cost minus 10% and you know finish up administrative ideas however this also gives us another idea group and the longer we wait the more of a tech penalty we're gonna accrue so uh, it probably is better if we just pick up the next admin tech right away um, I'm pretty sure we can defeat the Serbian and Bosnian armies um, Serbia does have offensive ideas which means it's possible he has a great general um, and Bosnia actually has uh, quantity ideas, so you know we're gonna see how that works out for them. They don't have the bonus force limit yet, but they will have a bit of manpower. Um, otherwise, though, they only have seven thousand troops, so um, probably actually not that big of a threat. We've got twenty-eight thousand to their twenty thousand. Not particularly worried then. And of course, we're just we're just rich from you know owning all of this crazy Anatolian land and Greek land. Uh, but without further ado, let's get this war started. I'm sorry it's come to this, Serbia. I hope you can forgive me. Looks like they are going to try to stack up. They do have a mountains fort, which is pretty interesting. Go ahead and head to Kosovo. Uh, this is actually where uh, their gold mine is, so... Could be pretty crippling for us to move in here. Uh, we are going to go ahead and split the army. And let's see, which stack got the cannon? It's this one. So this this army we're going to give the uh, the siege. And this army we're going to give the uh, the other leader with the uh, with the no shock. With the no shock and the and the five maneuver and the... Doing a, you know, Bill Cosby impression. <laughs> anyway... See, we gained 50 diplomatic power. Uh, Serbia does have a 2-4 leader, which is pretty scary, uh, especially given that we're in the mountains right now, but I don't know if he's actually going to go for it. Jandar is doing some silly Turkish dance right here. This is actually pretty... Look at him go! I need some, like, uh... I need some Middle Eastern music playing right now to, like, you know, represent this. Uh, I guess we're going to lose 15 prestige because of that stupid event where if you don't pick up a diplomatic insult, cast his belly, then you just lose prestige. I hate that event. It's such a bad event. <laughs> like, it's not really a choice. It's just like, well, how do you want to get screwed? But 
We could build some buildings. I think that would be a good idea, just to get some bonus, like, tax income. Hmm. Oh, Athens would be a great province for this as well. So we're building, like, five churches, I think. I'm not saying we took religious ideas, but... Maybe? Now, vassalizing Serbia may actually be too expensive for what we can do in this war here. Um, that's something I'm thinking about. And if that's the case, I mean, that's fine. Um... Though I obviously rather prefer that we were able to take them as a vassal. I mean, if we look at the peace deal, can, can we actually do this? Um, yeah, we could. It would cost us 200 Diplo, uh, which I'm perfectly fine paying for, uh, by the way. And we're just going to annihilate the uh, Serbian fleet. Uh, sorry about that, Serbia. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to go uh, probably besiege Serbia, the province. AI seems pretty content to just relax and just let it happen. But I'm, you know, I'm really glad because we're at the part where things are just gonna kind of go crazy here. Let's see. Uh, actually, I want to go to Venice. Where's Venice? We're gonna build a spy network on Venice since they are at war with France. Um, hey, the Turks were driven from the Eastern Balkans. The forces of the Ottoman Empire have been driven out of the Eastern Balkans as long as. <laughs> At long last, Constantinople's European borders are secure. The Phoenix rises. We get 50 points of each kind. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, Karaman took quite a lot of land from uh, the Ottomans here. Uh, the Mamluks, not as much land as you know, we would have expected them to take, but still a decent chunk. Uh, but more to the point, when we do go to war with the Ottomans, uh, I do believe that, you know, Kenar will be able to make good use of the land that they, uh, would secure. More to the point, when he gets more development as a vassal, he'll be able to, you know, provide more troops to us. Oh, Valakia was discovered building a spy network. Apparently he wants our land now. <laughs> Um, we're going to fabricate on Ultania in Wallachia. We may attack them shortly after taking Serbia. However, the aggressive expansion we incur from taking Serbia as a vassal uh, may prove to be quite a bit indeed. It's a lovely siege. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, pick up Military Tech 10 since it's uh, only 600 at the moment. And we will go ahead and pick up uh, Eastern Hussars as well. More like Eastern Hussies. <laughs> anyway. I, I always loved calling them, like, like all, all respect due, of course. I do think the Winged Hussars are awesome. But calling them Winged Hussies is just hilarious. Since a hussy is like a, you know, like this really, like, you know, puffed up girl who's, like, full of herself. So, it, like, sort of fits. There's gonna be a lot of like angry Polish comments in the uh, in this video, I think. <laughs> what have I done? Now, once we siege down this province, I think Bosnia will just be willing to peace out. Poor Serbia, fully occupied. War exhaustion is gonna be through the roof. This just in: Serbian war exhaustion at an all-time high. Betrayed by their friend for the longest time. I do kind of feel bad. I mean, as bad as I can for being a super successful, uh, you know, arisen nation. <laughs> you know. I think we do pick up uh, Admin Tech 10 while we have the chance. Before it gets too much more expensive. Hungary has attacked the Ottomans in a reconquest war. Crazy. Uh, let's see. We could pass the uh, Declaration of Indulgences, which would increase our tolerance of heretics. Um, but the thing is about that is, um, like, we already kind of tolerate heretics because of our legitimacy, and uh, Christians are pretty easy to convert anyway. So I'm not really worried about that. Uh, the other one we would want is uh, the Missionary Strength bonus, um, but tolerance of heretics down. So I think we'll go ahead and pick that one up. Um, even though it does lower our tolerance of heretics, it will allow us to convert these provinces more easily, uh, which is really important because um, our religious unity is just not very good right now. Now, once we finish our national ideas and we get that bonus 3% missionary strength, um, that would be pretty awesome. 
for the time being, though, we're, uh, we're just gonna stick with, uh, you know, that decision. Alright, um, you know, I really want to force my religion on Bosnia, but at the same time, I think I'd rather just take war reps and money, peace out, and get Serbia, uh, in our wing, as it were. Alright, and Bosnia gave us 130 ducats. Thank you very much. Let the way for our other diplomat to get back. Alright, this is going to give us 32 aggressive expansion, which nobody would join in a coalition except for people who were already wanting to join a coalition anyway. The, we would have negative 200 aggressive expansion with the Ottomans, which is pretty hilarious, but yeah, for the most part, we're just going to do this. I don't think anyone cares that much that we're doing this. We get 16 prestige out of that. Uh, Serbia does have pretty high liberty desire. Um, he's starting out at like 84%. Um, he's really upset with us, and understandably for, you know, attacking him, basically. <laughs> uh, we are going to pick up... I I've been deliberating on this for a while since the series started, and trade ideas for us would be awesome, because we make so much money from trade. Um, however, getting... Uh, influence ideas would let us do more with our vassals and help curb this aggressive expansion just a teensy bit um, once we got to that idea. And so I think I think influence ideas is going to be the way to go uh, of the two. We will we'll probably pick up trade later, but for the time being, I'm pretty content with uh, picking up that idea, or influence ideas, I should say. We have enough to fabricate a claim on... Um, we actually have a claim on Venice in... Uh, Negroponte, which no one would join us against, but we'd only be at war with Venice, Genoa, and the Knights. Which is interesting. I love how Venice is, is big enough, apparently, to be rivaled by France. <laughs> it's, like, actually crazy. Um, I mean, we're probably big enough to rival France as well if we actually bothered to look at it. Um, actually, no, we're not. But it might just be that we're not close enough, so... You know, take that with a grain of salt. Um, our truce with the Ottomans is up. And the Ottomans are currently getting crushed by the Hungarians and the Austrians. So, I, I think attacking the Ottomans right away would actually not hurt us in any way. Uh, however, we do want to improve relations with Serbia. So we're going to get right on that. Let's see, Athens gets... Uh, let's get tax modifier from Athens, since that's like the best kind of income we can get right now. Yeah, we're making like 0.8 more ducats per month uh, off of that. And how long is that modifier? Let's see, uh, for five years. So, you know, 0.8 ducats for five years. Nothing to... That's pretty good. All right, we have converted a province. Let's convert another province. <laughs> Yeah, Serbia's pretty upset with us, and, you know, he's he's got a reason to be. <laughs> he's certainly within his rights. Uh, Serbia is asking to become a march, um, which, you know, I'm not completely against, except that um, getting him back when we want to annex him again, because I think we need some of his land to uh, take triumph for the Balkans. See, we need Albania, Zeta, Ragusa, and Dalmatia. So we need, like, these four provinces. Interesting. Um, we should probably annex Albania while we bother, you know, so weak, if we're being honest. Uh, I do want to fabricate a claim on Crete in case an uh, opportunity presents itself to attack Venice with our allies in tow. And that being said, we're going to start fabricating on, uh, on Albania for sure. But let's stop improving relations with uh, Jandar because we're going to attack the Ottomans. We're just on like a rampage right now, by the way. <laughs> I don't I don't even think anyone in Europe has like even cares about what we're doing down here. Oh, we actually do have like 28 aggressive expansion with like some of our neighbors, but for the most part, the only people that care are the people who already were in a coalition. Um so we don't really care about them or what they think. <laughs> now, interestingly, Karaman has no allies. So I think that after we attack the Ottomans here, we should definitely um, 
fabricate on them and attack them as well. All right, let's do a uh, let's do a conquest war since uh, most of these lands have not been claimed by Jandar, and uh, we want to take land for ourselves anyway. So, see, this is the sea general, so that's good. Oh, apparently the Ottomans have a core on Skopje. I suppose I should have seen that. Uh, and so we can't actually core it since we're at war with uh, the Ottomans again. That's fine. I'm not really, like, torn up about it or anything. Is this a trade ship? It sure is. Let's get them trading. Um, but anyway, we're starting yet another war with the Ottomans, so... <laughs> Thank you for joining me, my fellow con uh, conquerors, fellow Romans, and I'll see you on the next one.